Hello, and welcome to my next executive series video. Our topic today is outsource processes. Aaron Snyder here from Quality Systems Explained, where we make quality systems simple for you. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. If this is the first executive series video that you've seen, please go back and check out the executive series introduction. You can look at the video description below for links to any supporting information and an outline of the material that we will cover. In the executive series, we have a standard agenda which covers four main areas. You can see those in the progress bar. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video for those three bonus questions. Our requirement, outsource processes, comes directly from ISO 1345 section 4.1.5. This requirement in 820 is linked to 820.50 purchasing controls. Outsource processes in five words. Qualify suppliers executing outsource processes. ISO 1345 introduces the term outsource processes. An outsource process is any process that you are required to do as part of meeting 1345 requirements that you choose to outsource to a supplier. This is a little bit more than just supplier management. It's a little bit more than just purchasing controls. When you think of outsource processes, what I want you to think of are the following examples. Manufacturing, design and development, calibration, testing, annealing, cleaning, sterilization, pest control, and on and on and on. The actual controls related to your outsource processes, these controls have to be clearly defined you need to establish a list of outsource processes. You actually have to define what outsource processes are within your quality management system. The GHTF document for purchasing controls is a great resource for helping you clearly understand outsource processes. How do I know this is working? Well, first, I have a list of outsource processes. Second, that list of outsource processes clearly identifies the supplier that's doing it and the controls that I have in place for that supplier. And then finally, all of my outsource processes, the suppliers are reviewed, approved, I'm monitoring them, and I have great documentation to provide to show that I'm meeting the requirements of 1345. How do I know this is not working? Well, first, I lump all outsource processes in with all of my other supplier controls. Second, I cannot produce a list of outsource processes. Third, I can't clearly show the actual controls I have in place for the outsource process suppliers. And then finally, the records I have related to suppliers and outsource processes are incomplete and they're just not all approved. Now for those three bonus questions. First, do we have an outsource process list? If yes, does it include sister sites that are doing outsource processes for us? Second, how do we define the controls needed for each outsource process. Third, how do we define outsourced processes within our quality management system? Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. If you have any questions, please send me an email at qms.jedi at gmail.com. This is Aaron Snyder from Quality Systems Explained. Never stop learning.